Join me in the beautiful Riviera Maya today for this postpartum leg and glute workout. Exhale and brace your core during the challenging part of a move. If you have diastasis recti, watch your core and ensure you aren't getting any coning down your midline. You may also want to do the last exercise with your legs up against a wall. Because this is a short and efficient workout, we're going to do these moves back to back. Don't stress if it takes you a couple extra seconds to start the next move. The goal is to keep moving and have fun. We'll start with a short warm up, lubricating our joints. Exhale, engaging your core as you lift your knee. Shoot your hips back here and hinge forward, avoiding any rounding through your back. Use tiny exhales as you bring elbow to knee, going at a speed that feels safe for you. Raising up and down on your toes, keeping your core engaged and pulled in.
using your diaphragmatic breath, breathing into your side and back ribs so you can keep your core engaged here. Keeping your core engaged as you carefully lower down on your side. You can bring your heels in to touch your fingertips. Exhale and engage your core as you raise up. Also option to add a pelvic floor contraction as you raise up. Option to keep both feet down and add a heel raise at the top if you have diastasis recti. For those of you with diastasis recti, continue with both feet down and butterfly your knees out at the top of your bridge. For a modification, you can slide the backs of your legs up against a wall and then slide your heels up and down the wall to protect your core.
Amazing job. We can bring our legs safely down now and let's stretch our feet and hands in opposite directions, making sure not to let your ribs flare safely out. Safely rolling onto your side. Let's make our way up to all fours. Tucking your toes, pressing into a downward dog. Coming back through all fours, we can come up on our knees, moving one leg forward into a kneeling lunge, releasing through your hip flexor or your psoas. Option to bend your back leg for an additional quad stretch. Gently releasing, moving your hips back, flexing your front foot. Switching to the other side. Releasing into your kneeling lunge. Option to bend your back leg again. Releasing your back foot, shifting your hips back again, flexing your front foot. Coming down to a seated position, bringing both legs out to a wide-legged position. We can move back and forth. Take one more deep breath in and out. You did amazing today. Thank you so much for joining me.